or this one. We'll do it in this one because I want to show you how these values will change. Okay, and I'll go through all the sequences and all the different menus. So we do a height setup. Okay. Um, actually, let's do let's do a different kind of height setup. Um, what I like to do is actually um, I usually like to run height setup with manual mode. Okay, so manual mode gives me the ability to use the Z lever to move the tool up and down. So maybe what I'll do is I'll position my make believe die somewhere, and I'll make and I'll present uh, position the capillary into a known place on the die. Okay, then I come up. I didn't move anything. I tell it I'm going to do a height setup. Even after I press the button, I could still move this down, but the tool is waiting for the button to be pressed. The buttons are on the puck. All right, we call this our puck. The bomb button is back here. We have up and down buttons over here, and we have a reset button. The up and down buttons move the clamping mechanism. And we'll go through that as well. For right now, we're just going to hit the bond button. Okay, I hit the bond button once. The tool is now coming down. We're now searching. We're searching for the proximity switch to get activated. Once it touches down, okay, we recorded that height. Um, again, we have to do the height setup one more time. We assume that we're going to do two different heights, but you can always touch down on the same. All right, so I'm going to click it again. Normally, you want two different places. Well, you just maybe you have a die height, and maybe you have a substrate height. In this case, I'm just going to be bonding on the same plane. I see. All right. So those are the first two for our, our heights, and now the third one is our EFO height. Okay, so we have our EFO one here. I check clearance. I just make sure that the tool isn't going to hit it on its way in. When I click it once, it automatically swings over, and then we do a set 200 micron offset on the EFO wand. Okay? So now everything is all set up. So we just press bond three times? Yeah, you basically just press that three times. <laughs> Two for heights and one for EFO. One, two for the height and one for the EFO. For the EFO. If we were in wedge mode, you would just have to do the heights. Okay. Because there is no EFO for the, for the wedge. Wedge Okay, so um, if we go into this screen, these two numbers are the search height numbers that we just did. The first height, we actually touched on on the same surface. You can see that they're one micron away from each other. Okay. Yeah. Placement accuracy on the system, we usually say it's about three microns, three sigma, because one micron is really hard to achieve consistently, but in general, we are closer to one micron. It means they're the same surface, right? Not the different surface. I touched it on in the exact same spot. Same and probably space. what happened is, I smushed it a little bit. I smushed oh. it by a little micron. Probably, yeah. probably was that what happened. Yeah, when you touched it the first time, yeah. Um, or the wire that was underneath there, I now squished the wire, too. Mm -hmm. Um, this last height, this is our work height, this is the height that we're at right now. This work height is actually associated with the EFO height. This is the one thing I can't change. This is set for the EFO itself. I can change these and I can manipulate those. I can manipulate them on a the fly and I can rechange them depending on the, what if my die's thicknesses change or what if my substrates are now mm -hmm. lower or higher. But where is the other end of the wire uh, did you put? Where is the other end of the wire? I'm sorry. Um, below the tip, uh, where did you put the other end of the gold wire? On the screw. The other oh. wire, the, the end of the wire is just, it's over here. It's just kind of hanging out. Oh, it's hanging. Side. Oh, yeah, it it's just be... off to the side. Usually when you want to do a height setup, if you come from a previous application, sometimes you might leave a ball on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Usually how the, the system is done, when it finishes doing a ball bond, it does the first bond, it does the second bond, then it moves up a specific height, closes the clamp, tears, this is now our tail, we bring it all the way up, EFO1 comes over and creates that into a ball. Now we're ready to begin again, do our first bond and so on. Mm -hmm. If we leave it there and I you know, turn it off and I go some, to lunch and somebody else wants to use the system, there might still be a ball on the end of the capillary. If they run height setup with the ball on the capillary, it's not to say this is going to happen every time. But that ball has to go somewhere. And when I do a touchdown, I might smoosh the ball into the hole. And maybe I might clog it. So in general, I usually will take the ball and I'll usually feed some wire down and uh, just bend it off to the side. Yeah. Okay. And it's really easy. You don't have to go in here. You don't have to open up clamps. You don't have to tear it. You manually pull wire. You can use the buttons. So these buttons will help. 
um, actually move the wire itself. So if we can, okay, I'm going to press down 